Please, my baby love. Good night. Please, my darling love. Remember your promise. During our honeymoon week, only my soul will make love to your soul. I will touch your body with nothing else but my eyes. Do you remember promising me that? I do, my baby love, of course I do. For the moment, the only thing my eyes can touch is your cotton pullover. Please, my baby love. No. Please, my no. baby love. Please. No. Please. No. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on here? Oh. Lindsay, you know the rule. Sorry, sir, director. She slapped me. You know the rules. I said I'm sorry. Are you yelling at me? No, sir. She slapped me so hard. Okay, listen to me. Unless I say cut, you have to keep on playing the scene. Sorry, sir. He did not say his lines. What? Yes, you did not say your lines. You were to say, please, my baby love, allow me to celebrate the sacred nakedness of the I know the lines. I am the one who wrote the script. But he did not say those lines. We changed that part of the scene. And why? Why? Because I'm the writer and the director as well. What about me? What about the actress? And the director as well. When did I ever doubt that, sir? Okay, good. So do we play it as it is now or not? Sorry, sir, but no. Sorry, you promised to do everything you could to. I do remember everything I promised. We had an agreement. All the erotic scenes were to be evoked and magnified through sensual eyes, words, breathing, silence. He was not supposed to touch my breast. That was not the agreement. Can anybody say something, please? Was I the only one to hear this? You promised, sir, you promised. No, 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 sorry, sorry. You promised to do everything you can to make this work a success. You promised that to me, you promised that to anyone here. Yes. Do you remember? As an actress, not as a go-go okay. dancer, or a topless bad dancer, or an escort girl? As an actress, I have my dignity, sir. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, John. Are you going to let your actors inside you like this forever? Oh, can I go on working? Well, could you do that without wasting my time? Maxim, what do you want? Okay. Can we go on working? Sorry, sir. Not in this direction. Okay. Uh, Nora, will you please take Lincia's place? Thank you. Please, my baby love. Can I? Please, my darling love, you can. But remember your promise. During our honeymoon week, only my soul will make love with your soul. I will touch your body with nothing else but my eyes. <laughs> Do you remember promising that to me? I do, my baby love. Of course I do. But for the moment, the only thing my eyes can touch is your cotton pullover. Please, my baby love. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. I said no! No offense, no disrespect, but Lindsay is right, sir. Okay, good. Sorry, but what's going on? 
First time we hear you yelling. First time you're asking us to behave like, I mean like, lousy reality show actors. What's going on, sir? Hey, hey. Time out, time out. And who's this man yelling at you from the saloon? What's going on? Nora, do we continue working? Set time out. Maxime, please. I'm not talking to you, Angela. Okay, let us continue with the uh, casting. Uh, Rokia, could you please replace Nora? Cut, cut, cut! I said cut. What's going on, Maxim? What's the problem with you? If you don't mind, I will answer the young lady's question first, then I'll deal with you. John, young girl, I am what some people will call the magic man, the miracle maker. I am the one who makes simple ideas become cinema. I am the one who asks your director to change the script. Maxine, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm coming with you. What? Everything is my fault, no? So you want me to produce your film, but you refuse to take any of my advice. Is that it? No, Maxim, sorry. You didn't even take time to watch the whole scene. Well, I'm only trying to help you. By changing all the lines. By changing all the scene. You're completely driving my film away from my conception of cinema. Oh, come on, John, don't be childish. You know what I'm talking about. Maxime, can you please stop being disrespectful? <sighs> Angela, I know you love your husband and you believe he's the most wonderful man in the universe. Good for you. I love you because you are my sweet little sister. Good, very good. But this is not a love affair. This is not a family affair. This is business. I'm talking to you as a producer. Anyway, Lincia. Hey, 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 leave Lincia alone, right? Lincia what? She slapped my face, right? She slapped my face! How can you produce a tree if you don't let the, the feet grow? Huh? How can you pretend to help me if you don't care about my spirit, my art, my way of thinking? Nobody makes films with ideas in the 21st century, my naive friend. People pay to see actions, powerful emotions. Especially if you pretend to talk about sex. Maxime, did you read what I gave to you? John's film is about the consciousness of being a human, being an actress or an actor, and not a sexual or exotic object. That's exactly what I'm saying. Good ideas, but wrong place. Uh, sorry, people, but what? Sorry. I mean, actresses and actors sitting on a bed making philosophical or psychological statements on their condition, and only because they're black it makes a good movie? They go to university conferences, go to church, and leave cinema to those who know what cinema is. <laughs> Lincia. <laughs> I want to be a major actress. I want to play sexy scene, but I don't want to show anything. I can be sexy like this. Okay, are you crazy? How sexy can you feel now? What are you doing? I say, how sexy can you feel now? Someone help me, please. Come here. Come here. Okay, please. Please. Come here. Can I just remind you that there was a white actress too? Angela, don't put words into my mouth. I'm not talking about color or race. <laughs> That's exactly what you're doing. Why don't you just speak out your mind, Maxine? <laughs> it's about the color of your narrow-minded brain, so full of cliches, enslaved to money and profitability. Angela. No, John, please, let me go on with this, please. So what, Mr. Producer, huh? Would the idea make a better movie if it was about black girls playing sluts? Oh, oh, don't laugh at me, you idiot. Or black boys playing 
pimps or drug dealers or thugs or gangsters or rappers? Would you like the idea even better if it talked about AIDS, Ebola, malaria or tuberculosis altogether? Well, I think I really heard enough for today. 24 hours. I give you 24 hours to make up your mind. My way or your way. 24 hours. All the best, man. Take good care. You can go. I said get the fuck out of here! Shingo, don't let my brother's mentality upset you or change you. Keep on being yourself. Make the films you're dreaming to make. I'm here. Whatever you decide, I'll always be at your side.